Yo, what up, guys? Beside me here. This is the hardest account takeover I've ever done in Raid Shadow Legends. This account belongs to Headhunter, and several times I've been on this account to either build a dungeon team, to push Spider, to suggest a clan boss team. But for some reason, this account is still stuck. It's perfectly okay to feel that way sometimes in Raid, but there are things you can do to change it, and that is what I'll do in this account why did i call it the hardest account takeover i've ever done because this is not a one hour two hours or even one day account takeover the owner of this account have given me permission to play this account for an entire one month two months or three months that's the amount of time i'm hoping it will take to totally, totally revamp this champion so you might be asking what is so wrong with this account why does it need an entire three months to play to get something done something that can be probably done in Two hours or so let me explain a little bit we'll talk about the account progression so far the first thing of course for a newer account well it's not that new if you go over to how long this account has been playing daily login you can tell that we have way past the day 271 mark i can't really tell how long it is based on this champion that is coming up i think somebody can tell me how long it takes to get good good uh, bug brew and we'll know how long this account has been playing it doesn't even matter how long you've been playing if the owner of the account doesn't really log in daily or has other has a, if you have a busy life you don't really play raid as much as you can so let me just put some things on the notepad normally i'll start with the campaign but we can already turn an account old account like this is fine with the campaign and um yeah brutal campaign uh, he, has, he might have even touched a little bit of nightmare yeah see he has done a little bit of nightmare so Campaign is not a progression I'll be looking forward to. Maybe to get the secret shard is something that I can add to the uh, list of things I can do on this account. But I don't think that's a priority right now. I just have other higher priority, and the first one is going to be Clan Boss. So let me head over there and tell you why Clan Boss is the most important one. Of course, because of the amount of secret shards, epic steel tomes, and a lot of gems or other resources you get from that Clan Boss. That's why I'm adding that Demon Lord Clan Boss as the first priority since i've been playing on this account for about a day or two i noticed that it's a three key or sometimes even a four key nightmare i can't really show the team i've spent the keys today right i've not spent any key today i did it it was a three key i spent three keys on nightmare and one key on brutal you could not do a one key brutal could not do a consistent three key the previous day was a four key uh, nightmare depending on affinity right so that's the first thing that i wanted to do right here i did suggest the team previously when we talked about this account and but those champions are level 40 so i will take them to 60 or even build a new team no unkillable no pain keepers no manitan no demeters no block damaged champions on this account so i cannot go straight and do an unkillable so we are going to do our old-fashioned killable team because we have a sepulchre which makes it a lot easier so i'm going to record the clan boss progress so far that i found on the account as a three key nightmare progression and a two key brutal because it was 19 million so that's this current progression right now i'm hoping to take it to a one key oh, can i do a one key nightmare sure i can one key nightmare one key brutal so that's the we are hoping to take it to but let me not write it until it's possible i just want to record the progress so far right now and the next thing, um, Headhunter has never really fought the Hydra. So if I go over there, you will not find any Hydra team sitting right here, right? I think I put this one together. I don't know. But he really, he really didn't fight the Hydra. I fought it before reset happened, but I wouldn't even do much damage. So I guess that kind of team can do a normal Hydra team. Hydra is no, not a priority. Until I'm done with Nightmare, that's when we'll come focus on other things. But I'm not going to add that as a requirement. The next thing I'm looking at is the Arena. Because I saw that the arena teams were all over the place. When I, what do I mean? I don't have a speed booster. I don't have a like a good team that can fight arena battles. So I put this one together, hoping to get some arena medals. But the milestone for arena that I'm trying to reach is gold, which is easy because as it's all about how much battles you can fight and easy teams you can find, right? With a one-man weak defense. So I found it at silver three. That was the progress. I found the account at hoping to get it to gold by the time we are done with this one month two month or a three month challenge don't worry i'll not be posting daily updates i'll just be posting the huge milestones or maybe on live streams where i talk about this account in great detail so 
really, really headhunter needs the help and he does deserve all the advice you guys can give to make this account better so i'm just doing my best crazy amount of good champions though but no gear to just build in one day and beat every content no gear that's the big thing i'm facing on this account so i managed to put on to silver four already and by the time arena resets this sunday maybe i'm already in gold one or gold two i don't think i can get to gold three before it reset 3v3 i found 3v3 arena in bronze one because it's not a priority for most people which is understandable so 3v3 so let's see if we can push it to bronze 3 or silver 1 2 or 3 depending on how many resets we are able to push and make that happen and how long i play on the account so already by resets this sunday will be in silver i mean in bronze 2 and the next day bronze 3 and so on so it depends maybe in a week in a month we'll be up to silver 1 or 2 so that's the hope and I've started buying some Bazaar Drexter, I think, yeah. Drexter is the one I'm currently buying because I bought this one recently. So Drexter is not yet obtained on the account. So that might be a goal, but I don't know how many fragments have already been obtained so far. So that's the main goals that I think can be achieved on this account. And in order for me to do this, the, clan, the um, dungeon teams have to be perfect, right? Have to be good. So that means I have to come in here and actually farm masteries on champions. I have to come in here and farm artifacts, new artifacts, that because some there are some trash artifacts that I have to totally sell. And then for the spider, I have to push it up to where did it? Yeah, we did it push it to 20, which is consistent. Maybe we'll have to push it further. For the Mino, it's gonna be an easy one, one minute run, no problem. So I can farm masteries on the champions. So what about champions and um, development? Because all this content that I'm talking about has to do with champions taking to 60 and masteries and good gear. That's the only thing. Masteries, 60s, good gear. So in order for that to happen, I have to take a lot of champions to 60. Now, the um, headhunter has already taken a lot of champions to 60, as you can see on this list. But today I did take Kunoichi to 60. And the next champion is going to be Sepoka to 60. So right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, level 60s. That's what we found right here on the account. Sixteen. So hoping by the time we are done. <laughs> I can boost up to maybe 20 level 60s or 25 depending on how long I want to spend in the campaign and how many champions I need to 60s to achieve this great big goal that we are setting for this account right now. So we even have an Ugo chilling right here at level 50. So that's also something that can greatly change an account. It doesn't matter how many champions you have 60s. If they are not helping you with those content, I don't think it will help. But since there are other champions like right here who I think can help in those content, and i'll get that done so one mistake one big mistake i had to correct on the account immediately was faction guardians i know this one is kind of um, controversial and some people might have something to say about this one but in my personal opinion faction guardians for rare champions were not needed on the account what do i mean every faction had rares when i say rares i mean one two three four all in here like every faction had the full rares so the first order of priority i did was to take out all the faction guardians and i'm going to use them as food instantly to get all these champions to 60 that i need so maybe that will make me not need to farm the campaign so long and make the ability to get this to get to where our goal is a, lo a lot easier because a lot of three star four star champions are still on this account rares and I'm definitely not going to use epics as food because definitely epics deserves to be faction guardians. So for rares, for faction guardians, no. Then whenever you want to have a cold heart for dark elf, this is totally understandable to have duplicate copies of cold heart as your dark elf faction guardians. So cold heart or maybe you want to boost her up a, li a little bit. So I don't even see her right here or no duplicate copies yet. So this is one faction that I think is worth getting duplicates for because of cold heart so there are some rares who are definitely who you're going to use in your teams and you want to put faction guardians not all of them so the first thing i did was to take out all the faction guardians and begin to use them as food and take a lot of champions to 60. 
So that's how I was able to take this champion to 60 immediately, Kunoichi. And I'm going to do next for Sopoka Sentinel, who I found in the vault, chilling. I found Sopoka in the vault, chilling. She's currently 30, what? Where is she? A lot of four stars. All this what you're seeing right here used to be um, Action Guardian. There she is. No gears. So she's the first order of priority that I'm currently putting my skill tomes into. I've already spent some epics into her and she's... This is the most skill we need the most, right? And the A1. So so every epic skill tome we'll get here, we'll get to this champion immediately so we can do a nightmare team immediately and maybe begin to talk about ultra nightmare damage if we can make that happen. But it depends on the gear and how much you can farm. So speaking about gear, let's see what is on the account in terms of gear. I have to do a gear cleanse. You know one of those gear cleanse that just go right here and go to it one star, two star, four star and sell everything. It doesn't matter whether whether they are 16 already on the account, they are all going to be sold. It's not because of we are out of space. It's just because the amount of farming that I will do in the dragon and um, other content will require all the space we can get. So I'm going to sell every four star gear on this account because this is not an account that wants to see four star gear. For example, when you start a free to play series for the first week, the second week of playing, you even begin to sell all your four star. After you begin to farm Dragon 16, 20, you don't need to keep four stars anymore. So this is something that I will do as the first order of priority. A gear cleanse will be needed on the account and we'll have to sell every four star on the account, even if they are level 16. What about if they are good start? No, there is no four star gear at this level of account that is good start. If you have been playing one day, two days, keep all your four stars. If you have been playing one week, two weeks, why are you keeping four stars? Except those beginner four star you have on your starter champions like Kale. Those life steal sets is very, very important. And sometimes it's the life steal sets you still use all the way till the end of the game as your campaign farmer. But this account is not even using a starter champion as a campaign farmer, it's using a Ronda. I'm thinking about changing that whether it's what changing or does run that let's just leave her she's doing like 40 seconds to 30 seconds campaign run and it's sometimes it's full auto so it doesn't really matter right it's not a priority to do a faster campaign farmer so this is the one that i normally keep for life steal for kill but it's not needed so that's four million silver in the bag and that's something good about this account we are not lacking for silver 17 million is a lot to change all this thing that i'm planning for this account headhunters account so currently level 72 by the time we are done maybe we hit up to level 80 because of all the farming we'll be doing so let me know what you think about this account and um, progression so far you've seen the champions you've seen the goals i set for this account talking about the clan boss three key nightmare where it is to kill brutal to become a one key nightmare and maybe a three key ultra nightmare pushing arena to um, gold pushing um, pushing um, bronze medals let me also add the great hall because that's something I saw that the Abita missions were being neglected a little bit. Why I say Abita missions were being neglected, that means we don't have a speed booster for the arena to begin to farm a lot of these great all medals. At that level of the arena, you find a lot of speed champions, no longer Dickens now. Everybody has the Abita, so there's no excuse why this, um, this account should not have an Abita. So let me add that to the list of things that might be possible on this account. Um, let me add it. Abita missions done so let me just add the progression where are we in the ambita missions currently at that's the last milestone which is 237 of 285 237 out of 285 so by the time this mission this um um challenge is done i might be able to complete this because we're already farming all the dungeons at level 20 so the only reason why we've not done this is because of this affinity bonus so i'll be farming and that's why i'm trying to get to gold so i can start farming get better affinity bonuses this is, takes longer though but as long as it's gonna add some stats to my champions that i'm currently building a killable team i would love to max out defense but accuracy has already been started so i'll not stop i'll go with accuracy no problem Although it might be for a force affinity champion, but no problem. It's already level 6. I don't want to waste those two um, updates that was done right here. So I will continue with this when we get up to 700 gold medals. We, don't even, we are not even gold yet. We can't even use silver here. So I'll just have to wait till we begin to get farm gold. So that's the next. That's another milestone that I'm setting for the account. That might be possible before this 
one, two, or three months. I hope it can be done in one month. I'll be super impressed. How long do you think all these big changes I'm planning for this account will take to happen? So that's what I'm planning for Headhunter's account. I've been meaning to do this update since he handed the account over to me. And yes, the HH Gaming Network challenge is ending. That's why I will have time to play on this account. My account will be going for the new fusion. This account will be going for that fusion because we need all the help we can get from accounts like this that needs to put faction wars. So Siva Watchers is currently at 28 stars. So definitely that new faction champion who is going to be, what's her name now? Dream Song will be obtained for this one. This account did not obtain the last fusion champion um, so because no resources. So I've started saving resources. Speaking about resources, when I came onto this account, there was no, no, uh, what do you call this thing now? Shards. So I started saving three secret shards Today and yesterday, I did get secret shots from the Nightmare Boss, two Nightmare Boss right here. Some picked up from other sources, um, Primals, Void Shards 4, and 33 Ancient Shards. Is this enough to we'll go for the next fusion? But we have some fragments saved up right here from Yannicka, um, Kafru, the Death Keeper. Like I said, I will be buying Drexler so I can get up to 100 of him soon. And then it caught the Seared for Doom Tower, not yet obtained. So definitely have some fragments to obtain right here for champion chase so that's awesome as for um what do you call this Sintranos, an account like this does not push Sintranos. we just come here do normal as much as we can normal stage and call it a day because beating these bosses with uh, uh, champions that are not well built will be a challenge so i'm not pushing Sintranos at all i'm also pushing doom tower a little bit because of all the awesome resources we get from here because of all the had some epic, epic skill tome. See, an epic skill tome is waiting for me right here, but I've used my keys for the day. So I'll fight it tomorrow, get one epic skill tome for more to add to Sepoka Sentinel. So I'll post this video maybe on Sunday so you guys can see the update right here from this account. Whenever you catch me live, you'll see Headhunters account being on a live stream. We are going to be playing as it, on this account often so that we can get these challenges done. I'm thinking if there's any other thing that I need to set as a milestone that um, should be achieved that I've not put on the list yet. Clan boss, arena, level 60s, and masteries. Masteries for champions. So far, so good. Every champion I've seen so far right here has all their masteries done, which is awesome. I don't have to go and do all these masteries again. It's awesome that Headhunter was able to farm all this done. So the new masteries I only get for is for the clan boss champions like Sepoka that I'm about to build right here so everybody here is already having their masteries done amazing damn arena will come in handy when i decide to push arena of course i'll take more champions to 60 so i do think that i'll take a total of like 20, 10 more or no five more champions to 60 before the duration of this account takeover ends so yes this is the most difficult account takeover i've ever had to do like i said i usually just come in build dragon teams for people build clan boss team for people and and head out that same day or even they do a gear cleanse for you guys that are members of the um, channel if you're wondering how can you get a, an account takeover for me or for me to review your account give you some advice all you have to do is hit that join button find your subscriber nice but if you hit that join button and sub and, and support the channel it gives you an access to do one account takeover for free a month so that's one of the perks for being a um, supporter of the channel i guess so um yeah i think that's all i have to talk about like i said i'm not a like a pro raid player but i know a lot about early game progression enough to help this account get to ultra nightmare and i hands off from it so let's see if i can get that goal done in a few months if we can if we can do this new noob to pro free to play hh 24 challenge done in that short period of time why can't i get this one done when there are already crazy amount of champions and i can use legendaries over here it's definitely possible so watch out for that challenge and yeah I'll be just doing it alongside my main content that I do. So it does not replace my main content. I just wanted to add this one as spice. If you have an account and you're currently stuck in one area, hop on the live streams, hop on the Discord, ask your questions, go to your champions right here, click, post your screenshot of this screen. We will always be able to guide you and help you for free on the Discord right here. So but if you want me to hop on your account and do all the magic by myself, then it takes a lot of time out of my day and nights that's when it requires some monetary and um, finance right here all right let me end it happy sunday if you're seeing this on a sunday i guess or maybe i'll post it on a monday 
but I'll be out of town when you see this. Still playing this on this account though and my main account. Later guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more daily raid content. And I'll catch you up on the next live stream.